We're just living in a time where AI is transforming everything. It's transforming how we work within disciplines like science or climate change or medicine or all forms of technology. It's driving economies worldwide. And in some cases, it's leading to outcomes that perhaps weren't as intended and not as equitable and beneficial as we would hope them to be. In this really powerful disruptive technology, there's a lot of good and opportunity, but there's potential for downside that we have to just be really mindful of. People are interacting with and using AI every day and they don't even know it. Like YouTube is feeding them up a next video. Why that video? In my research, I know, because I develop these systems. I develop these systems to help people learn new things. I build systems that help persuade people to take healthier actions. These are technologies that are influencing the way we learn, our decisions, our opinions, our behaviors. It is a technology that people use. It's our decisions is what's causing it to be applied in the way that it is, right? So having people just understand what AI is, that it is a tool for empowerment, it also has the risk of exacerbating inequality if we're not careful, right? So it's a change agent in a way that people just need to be much more savvy and cognizant about so they can make intelligent, informed decisions. We created RAISE, which is a new MIT-wide initiative that stands for Responsible AI for Social Empowerment and Education. We're creating these innovative curriculum that introduce not only AI concepts and technologies, but responsible design practices, as well as societal implications of these technologies, where the students are placed as the designer of these systems in our approach, and we educate them in these methods, they build things with it, they design things in groups. How do you make learning experiences more high touch, more engaging, more emotionally engaging? to be able to track the learner's emotional state, their attentional state, adapting the experience and the content accordingly. Innovations around VR, AR, immersive space, it's just other ways of inventing how we can bring much more of that face-to-face, -face, interpersonal, emotionally engaging experience to learning at distance through digital technologies. <laughs>